What is going on folks? Today is Tuesday, March 26th. My name is Joey. Welcome to the DK Oldies live stream. Thank you for tuning in today. Got some fun stuff lined up. I thought I would start off today's stream with a little bit of a tour. I think it's been a bit since I've done it. Thought I'd show you around a little bit. Right here, we are looking out into the shipping department. All these tables over here where orders get laid out. And then all these tables are where the orders get um, actually processed and shipped from. So you can see right here, they're laying some more out. I see a t-shirt order right over there. All stuff waiting to get laid out with orders. Check this out. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. What's up, Summer? Hi, I'm glad you made it. What's up, Julianne? Hi, Justin. Lois, what's going on? Hi, Joseph. Uh, here's some of the stuff that'd be at a shipping table. They've got the different size mailers that they use. Small and a larger one. Rubber bands, pens, Q-tips, all that sort of stuff. Up here is rolls of bubble wrap and packing paper to fill up the empty space in boxes. And then right behind me are going to be the aisles of accessories. Let's take a look. Yo, what's going on, Brady? Good to see you. Hi, Greg. Thanks for sharing. That's right. While I'm right here, let me just remind you, I'm going to be opening up a new collection today. I've got it sitting right here on the table. It's a good size box. I'm excited to see what's inside. And I do giveaways regularly on this channel. Just yesterday, gave away one of the new mugs that we came out with. So, Today could be the day for my Facebook viewers. All you have to do to be entered in the giveaway is share the post and comment down there in the chat that you shared. Today could be the day. What is going on, Jonas from Sweden, huh? Okay, back here to the aisles. Let's see where we are. This is PlayStation stuff and Super Nintendo. Let's check out this one. NES stuff, all the little storage cases. So you can see down the aisle, for the most part, things are stored in boxes like this. Dog bone controller for the NES. Here are zapper guns. More zapper guns in orange. NES controllers. Oh, wow, this is a blast from the past. The old Funko Land sleeves. NES games were stored in those. Up here is Nintendo 64 stuff. Look at this neat satchel bag. Yo, that's cool. Scott from Oklahoma, thanks for making it. A little storage cabinet for games. Where are we? Quick shot controllers, all kinds of weird stuff like, like this thing for the NES. Even screws for holding the system together. There's the power pad up there. <laughs> Walking down these aisles is always so cool. Let's check out one more. This looks like Game Boy and Nintendo 64 stuff. All different color controllers, blue controllers, green, red, gold I see up top on the shelf. See some down there. Over on this side, Game Boy stuff is blending into Genesis stuff, controllers, even Sega Saturn like AV cables, extension cables. All right, let's continue around. Look at all these AV cables. It's a mountain of them. Jared, thank you for sharing. Yo, what's up, Jesse? My favorite console is probably the NES. It's the one I grew up with. Although, you know, I've really grown to like the Super Nintendo over time. Here's a glance out into the cleaning department. All these different tables over here. Over here are carts of games waiting to get cleaned. You can see some have stickers. There's some dirt on this WrestleMania. Looks like somebody wrote their name on the back of that one. Sticker over here. All of these waiting to get cleaned over here by the cleaning department. Back here is the resurfacing area. This is so cool. Here are all the different resurfacing machines. There's a few of them. And when we get them running, they can all be running simultaneously. And right over here is the system where everything gets tested out. So you can see um, the games that get tested here. We've got all different consoles all hooked up and ready to go. Um, when you're testing this many, it just doesn't make sense to take it down and put it all back. So we've got a dedicated station for it. Yo, what's going on, Kendon? Game cases over here also. Now we're here. Wow, look at this. Yeah, see, look at all the wires that would be involved. Not something you want to be dealing with every day. 
our Toys to Life section. Amiibos, Disney Infinity figures. This is back here in the back side of the shop. Um, Jenna, I guess, I think that was about eight, eight or nine resurfacers over there. And then back here is the vault. You guys have seen this section before. It's where the, kind of the more high value stuff is. Like, check this out. Look at this Super Nintendo game. Robocop versus Terminator. It's got this hard plastic case on it. So it has cardboard down underneath that it sets on top of. Like the only game I can think of for Super Nintendo that had this plastic case. Pokemon stuff is over here as well. Red, Fire Red, Green, Ruby. Plus all the DS games. Look at this. All sorted alphabetically. All the way down there to the bottom. Atari I just saw somebody asking about. We happen to be right here. This is back in this side of the shop. Raiders of the Lost Ark? No way. And then Genesis continues down this side. And Nintendo 64. Plus, we're walking here past the heart of DK Oldies. It's the inventory department. You can see all these fresh carts of games waiting to get put into stock on the website. If you see something you're interested in, get an early glance. NES games finished down this wall. Finally, Super Nintendo. And then right over here is the newly organized disc in case section. I'm sorry, disc only section. That's when people sell us just the discs on their own. All sorted again alphabetically by platform, alphabet, even PSP games. That's right. Glad you're enjoying the tour, Robert. Dreamcast stuff, 102 Dalmatians. What's the very first game in the GameCube box? 007, should have known, starts with the numbers. What's going on, Sir Charles? I'm glad you made it today. Here's PlayStation stuff, Final Fantasy. What's going on, Dallas? Glad you made it. And then finally, on our last lap around here, this is where we have handhelds. This is the discounted handhelds. Accessory, I'm sorry, consoles are all laid out on the floor. And then finally, the good condition handhelds are over here. Just shipped one of these today out on video. Not going to spill the beans just yet. Stick around, you'll be seeing it soon. What's up, Devane? Thanks for sharing. Appreciate it. Okay. To open up today's collection, here it is right here in this box. Let's jump in. Can I see where this is coming from? Uh, Spring Lake, it looks like. North Carolina. Okay. Let's see what a North Carolinian plays. So, someone reached out to us, asked if we would buy their collection. We agreed. And let's see what we got. Look at all this packing material up top. That's a great sign. It's actually spilling out all over the place. That's a great sign, though. Ooh, first item out of the box is a console. That never happens. PlayStation 2 Slim. There it is in silver. And there was the black model that I guess most people had. There was also this silver and even a white one that was really cool looking, too. What's up, Summer? I went down to North Carolina for my first time just the other year on vacation. It was glorious. Wow, what is this? Final Fantasy 13-2? Sure, let's go with that. Uh, what's going on, Jeremiah? I'm, uh, I'm a casual wrestling fan, I guess. Not really, but uh, just opened up a game the other day, and it was Brock Lesnar on the front. We were just talking about him. So this Final Fantasy says it's collector's edition, and it looks like it comes with... Oh, check that out. Let me see if I can check. Wow, neat art on the front. The discs are inside. Concept artwork. Yo, I love seeing this kind of behind-the-scenes stuff for games. Jen, you played that Robocop versus Terminator? No way. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and then finally, in the back, the rest of the discs. Okay, that was a cool find. Eric, thank you for sharing. Uh, here come the pain. Here comes the pain. That was it, Dallas. I think that was the title of the game. Final Fantasy XI Online Wings of the Goddess Expansion Pack. Wow. I've seen that before.
cool. What other? Look at all this Final Fantasy stuff. Final Fantasy XI online. Chains of Promethea. Expansion pack. And there's Final Fantasy XI online. Treasures of Ahi Ergon. <laughs> sure. All PS4 stuff down here too. Last of Us Remastered. Yes, we can ship to the Philippines. We ship all over the world. What do you guys think about that oil tanker or whatever it was that crashed into the bridge in Baltimore in Maryland? It like took the whole bridge down. I saw, excuse me, uh, reports seem to be saying that, you know, the bridge had partially collapsed, but ugh, it looked like the whole bridge came down, a giant bridge across a huge river. Andrew, thanks for sharing. I don't know exactly what they were carrying. I think it kind of looked like a cargo ship with, you know, shipping containers on it. And the crazy thing is there were people on the bridge when it crashed into it and the bridge fell. That was just wild. Um, Dissidia, Final Fantasy. Steelbook Brawler Edition. Let's look at the art on that. Yo, let's go. Beautiful. Very cool. So instead of a just a plastic case like you're used to, these are um, steelbooks, steel cases. That's a cool find. There's Fallout. Whoops. Oh, and Far Cry 5. Good one. I like that one. Summer says it was a cargo ship. Yeah, it's just, just crazy. The entire bridge, Summer, right? Yeah. Yeah, Tommy. Yeah, everywhere but Mars, Jenna. You're right. That's where we ship to. And we're working. We're working out the logistics for Mars. Um, Fallout 4. Nice one. Yeah, Justin, it really was tragic. I agree. And I, and not only were there cars on the... Imagine, people were just coming home from work. Maybe on their way out, they hit Taco Bell. And, uh, sitting on a bridge, all of a sudden a cargo ship hits it. And you're getting plunged into the water? That's just crazy. It's scary. It really is. Return to the world of Ivalis. Okay. Um, so you, I saw somebody say where I worked. We made the guidebook for Far Cry. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Final Fantasy. What is this? Looks like a still sealed copy of Final Fantasy 13-2, whatever that is. Exclusive Episode 1 Novella Impact. Interesting. There's a book in there, all right. Oh, that's cool. And what else did I pull out here? More Final Fantasy and more Final Fantasy. Like, this is the Final Fantasy collection. This is wild. What's up, Kanan? Appreciate the kind words. I appreciate it. Borderlands Handsome Collection includes the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2. Why'd they call it the pre-sequel? Completely remastered. Cool find. Oh, wow. And here's Cyberpunk. What's, what's, what's in this? In the box, 2X Blu-ray, World Compendium, that's it. Okay, now we're looking at it. So this um, game, Cyberpunk, I know it had a troubled release. When it came out at launch, there were some issues with it. But they really worked on it, and it's become an amazing game. And the, the city of Night City, I just think is so cool. Um, just to be driving around. I used to think that about like um, Grand Theft Auto. Need to just kind of put on some tunes and drive around in the city. Night City in Cyberpunk completely took over that. It is just an amazing city. And then they and they made the um they made the show on Netflix, Edge Runners. I'd never watched anything anime related in my life, and um Edge Runners was kind of my first entrance into it. Are these posters? postcards 
And uh, the, 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 the show was fantastic. I loved it. Pacifica, look at that. Here's a postcard. Is this a map? Huh. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Oh, that's so cool. No, Christine, I don't know. It's just never really my thing. Never really watched anime. Um, I've had some people recommend me stuff over time. Cowboy Bebop or this or that. Or I can't even remember now. But uh, Edge Runners, I can't say enough good stuff about it. Plus Cyberpunk the game. The Witcher Wild Hunt Complete Edition on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, Rockmania Edge Runners. That's it. That's right, Miss Supersonic. Keanu Reeves was in it. Yeah, yeah. A whole world to explore. Includes all the expansions, Heart of Stone, Blood and Wine, and 16 DLCs. Holy smokes. Mm -hmm. Cyberpunk plays well on the PS5. Justin, I've heard the, uh, you know, the newer consoles especially, it really works great on. What? Uh, Detroit Become Human. I forget the name of the guy that does this. Or Quantic Dreams, the studio. They have a certain style that they do for their games. Almost like um, you're watching a story unfold. Yo, what's going on, TJ? Jason, I'm glad you made it today. I saw the video of you receiving your package. It was awesome, as always. Um, and Jason, I did a, uh, a video packing up your order. I think we're going to be posting it soon. Just a little heads up. Final Fantasy XII, 10, 1, 1, 12. Collector's Edition. Again, this is a steelbook version. Check that out. Yo, what's going on, Lauren? Thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you and your hubby watch. Last of Us Part 2. Ah, The Outer Worlds. I remember hearing about this one. What's up, Rodrigo? We do ship to Mexico. Derek from Indiana, thanks for sharing. There's Watch Dogs too. Now this is cool. I've been seeing this out of the corner of my eye for the past couple minutes. It's a Game Boy carrying case. Spot up here, and, and, and it's a little bit reversed. It's not exactly what I would have thought. So there is the strap. You can see the strap up there, the shoulder strap. Um, this top pocket is kind of small. It's not where the system goes. The system actually slides in from the side right down there. And it's even got a pocket there on the back with a zipper. And that's nice looking. I've heard good stuff about Outer Worlds, Justin. I have. More, uh, more Final Fantasy. How many more Final Fantasy games do you think we're going to pull out of here? I would say minimum five. <laughs> and here's one. Final Fantasy VII, that's seven, Remake Deluxe Edition. Gee whiz. From the UK, what's up, Ryan? World of Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy Type Zero. Near Automata, Automata, Outer Scrolls Skyrim, and Final Fantasy Deluxe Edition. This is XV, that's 15, and another steel book. Look how cool that one looks. Nice. Yo, Jason, so you got some Dreamcast stuff up on the horizon? It's exciting. PS2 controller. Is this all been PlayStation stuff? I think so. In the surprise of the century, Final Fantasy XI online. Final Fantasy XI Vanna DL Collection 2008. What? Never seen some of these before. There's GTA.
Grand Theft Auto V. Oh, what's this? A Game Boy Advance backpack? No way! Yo. <laughs> Let me peek at this real quick. So it looks like a little, little pocket up front, little pocket there on the side, and then this big pocket back here in the back to store everything else. Look, even little elastic banded areas to hold stuff in. Look at that cool color. Kind of looks ye pretty yellowish from the phone, but it's um, kind of more orange in person. Nintendo 64 controller, bright red version. What's going on? John from the UK, huh? PlayStation controller. And another. Cords and controllers, looks like, and then Nintendo 64, PlayStation stuff in there. Game Boy Advance SP. Let's check this out last. Um, PlayStation wireless controller, there's a dongle attached to it. What do you want to bet this is a PS2? It would make sense, right? I just can make out the word Sony in there on this PS2. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's do one more quick look at what this stuff is. In a little protective plastic baggie with mini plastic baggies inside, it's all the PlayStation memory cards. And some 3DS, what's this? Lego Star Wars. And some Game Boy stuff. Namco Museum, Texas Hold'em, and finally Simpsons Road Rage. Sweet stuff today. We got to see Cyberpunk. We talked about that a bit. And then this is just the biggest Final Fantasy collection we've seen in a while. There are Final Fantasy games in here. I don't know if the shop has ever seen. It's going to be nice to be able to refill our... Final Fantasy stuff for sure. Okay, everything I show off goes up to our website, dkoldies.com. Be back again.